so hi everyone um welcome to this walkthrough um in the weekend of 21st june 2025 um uh, it was last weekend on a saturday me and my team had the privilege to compete against other teams while playing ctf um and um we had a chance to play um, a number of different categories and this walkthrough is specifically made or um, meant to help you um, solve one of the challenges that we had an opportunity to tackle as a team. Today we live in a world where privacy and secrecy are very very important than any other time um, ever before and steganography is uh, what offers a fascinating way to help hide information in plain uh, sight um, if you <laughs> care about history and all that um, the word steganography ca uh, comes from the greek word steganos and graphia and um, steganos means covered while graphia means writing so the literal meaning of that is covered writing and um it's the idea of steganography is usually just to um hide the existence of um the message itself as opposed to what encryption does which is um hiding the contents of the message so with steganography we are hiding the existence of the message and um, while at it there are a number of techniques that could be used to um, achieve this and one of them is we could have a secret message um, hidden inside an image an audio clip or even um, a video file and just to the naked eye or ear the media that was used to um, conceal this message um, would appear to be unchanged and um, you wouldn't even notice that there is a message that has been hidden within the media file so I think that's a good uh, kind of introduction to what steganography is generally and um, also um, what it kind of entails uh, from um, a theoretical bit when you hear about steganography you expect to hear things about carrier files payloads encoding or embedding um, decoding or extracting so when you talk about a carrier file this would be um, just a normal looking file that is used to hide the data that you want to hide the payload would be the secret information that is being hidden and as you're going through this challenge you're going to see that we are looking for a particular flag which happens to be the message that is hidden um, embedding or encoding is the process or technique that had been used or has been used to hide the data as in this particular case the challenge creator um, used a particular technique to hide that data and what we are going to try to do is to decode or extract in other words or in simple terms retrieve the hidden um, data we I, I understand that I might have um, um, made um, encryption look like it's not important but if you use steganography alongside with encryption you are ideally adding um, an extra layer of security to your data um, they're all very uh, powerful we use encryption every day um, but steganography also comes in handy if um, you're passing around information that you don't want to be seen by the naked eye so let's just dive into it um, the name of the challenge you are walking you through today is um, dig deeper and as you can see here we have been given a file called dig deeper.zip and the description for this challenge is have fun going into the depths and this was a 150 point challenge that um, just had one question can you get to the, to the depths and grab the flag so to quickly get this out of the way let's just download the file and um, once it's done we can unzip it let's just quickly do that so 
we're going to delete the file and then go into the folder where the file is and <laughs> um, I'm a very curious person so the first thing I'd normally try to do is just listen to what the file has so I'll play this just once and if you had that then for me immediately what comes to my mind is this is definitely most code the first thing i normally try to do is visit a website like um most code decoder um so i'll just search for most code first and then there's this very super popular um most code decoder that is online um and i'll just open that up and then um we'd try and decode or give an input so i'll go to um, audio decoder right here and then while we're here i can upload the file that we just extracted the wav file and then just um, play and as you can see um the most code um uh message has been encrypted you for those of you who don't understand um uh, what most code is um maybe i can try and briefly explain it to you most code is a method of encoding text or characters using a sequence of dots and hashes to represent letters numbers and punctuation and it was one of the very earliest forms of digital communication and played a very crucial role when it comes to um, early telegraph and radio systems so you can tell how we graduated from using dots or short signals and dashes to coming up with um, audio and it actually helped allow people send complex messages over long distances using um, simple um, technology and this was very useful um, very uh, back in the day it was invented by someone called Samuel Morse around um, 1830s um with that out of the way uh, for those of you who didn't know what most code is we have been able to decode um the message that is hidden um within the audio file that we just downloaded but how do we proceed from here um this just says that this is the key so just copy that and have it in my um clipboard and when we go back to the challenge it talks about um, going into depths and because this is a steganography challenge we kind of know that there might be some data um, hidden within that audio clip okay and so the other thing um, I tried with this or the team tried with this um, audio file was to decode it using a software like deep sound now for those of you who don't have deep sound and maybe you're following through you can get deep sound from just googling um deep sound and um, i found this github repository very useful um as it can directly take you to a proper um trusted source for where you can download the zip file so once you just click on this link here it downloads the file immediately now to save on time actually i had already downloaded this tool and installed it so i'll just open it up there you go on the screen and then we can open our carrier file remember we said with steg or steganography challenges we have um carrier file so in this case our carrier file is the audio file that we had gotten earlier on from the challenge and we are being asked for a password now remember earlier on we had decoded what the um uh, code was from the most code audio that we had and this is how it looked like um it was this is the key so i just pasted it that uh, there um, we had a lot of back and forth with this because that was not the correct password however if you um try to um type the same thing but in small letters it actually works and we get access to um some hidden or embedded information in this particular case there seems to be an image file that um 
was embedded into that WAV file. So maybe we can just extract it and you can see it has been saved to my documents. So let's just go back to my folder, go to documents, scroll all the way down to deep sound and we can find the extracted image. So when I open that up, you can see it's just an image with nothing much to see. Again, a lot of poking here and there, trying to see if there's more hidden data um, for the guys who know um, checking um, or running this on exit tool to see if there's any um, interesting metadata, but there was nothing to find. Um, I personally even tried to decode the binaries that you can see here. I had a challenge because some was uh, some of the binary codes or the digits were obfuscated by you know how the image just looks. So we we did try a number of tools on this image trying to see um what can actually be uh more to that image because it was hard for us to find the flag once again i take you back to the challenge description it says we should be having fun going into depths and the question again insists on depths saying can you get to the depths and grab the flag to this point most of my team members were stuck because we've literally run through all the tools that um, one could use to try and um, extract information from the um, image and after a while we got a hint about um, something called the syndrome trellis codes okay and we did some research with the team and um, we tried to make google searches like syndrome stellis code decoding you know um, searching for tools that can help with that um, and one of the tools that we stumbled upon was a tool called Stego that could help us with um, that so when you visit this um, github directory you can actually find um, the binaries or executables that you need to help you with um, decoding of such an image, extraction of hidden information from such an image. And you can see here the binaries for different operating systems like Windows and Linux. So I quickly just downloaded the one for Windows again to save on time. That's installed and you can just quickly spin it up. This is it. This is Hedstego. So I want to extract information. So I'll click on that and then click on next and then select the image file that I want to use. And in this particular case, it was saved under the documents directory in a folder called DeepSand. And it's JPG image. So we'll select that and then open. Once that's done, we can click on next and being asked for a password again and we don't have one so once again we try to reuse the same same key we had gotten from when we started the challenge and that is this this um, key and then we extract message if that doesn't work um it means the password is wrong but it did actually work so we get the success message showing that the message has been extracted i'll click on ok and you can see here that we have our flag saying that flag steganography is found so i'll just quickly copy that um onto my clipboard and then go to the challenge and start and then submit that and you can see that it says correct answer of flag so this was um, a very 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 interesting challenge on um, steganography it might seem easy once you look at the um, walkthrough or once you follow through the walkthrough but it um, actually showed us a lot of um, it had us do a lot of research to um, solve the challenge so that is it for this uh, walkthrough hope you have fun um, trying it out Thanks. Bye everyone. Cheers. We'll see you on the next one.